hello viewers and subscribers welcome to another video in this video i will show you the full process of windows 10 installation step by step before starting with the main process let me tell you some pre-requirements of this process so that you can be ready as soon as possible here are the pre-requirements of this process the first one is a computer you should have a working computer so if you do not have a computer or you only have a one computer at your home and that does not have windows 10 right now or it has a corrupted windows for which you need to install a new windows so you can uh, head over to your friend and ask for the help to use their computer just to download the windows 10 and make it a usb bootable device so we will also need a usb pen drive of minimum 8 gb capacity the next thing which you need is the internet connection you should have an internet connection because we have to download the windows 10 iso file and the next thing and the most important thing among these requirements is the last one and which is the basic understanding of your computer's bios so you should have the curiosity enough to understand your computer's bios and you should also have an interest in doing this because if you do not have any interest you may face difficulties in installing windows 10 because this is the most important thing and you cannot just follow any computers bios because each and every manufacturer has a different bios hp will have different from dell dell will have different from some other brands like msi each and every one will have a different bios asus will have different bios their ui will be different one setting could be in a different category from your system manufacturer so you should have the interest to learn your computer's bios and you do not have to do any major thing as well in this one and do note that if you watch even any other video all will have the requirement of doing a setting in computer's bios so you will have to change some settings in your computer bios and uh, watching any other video or step uh, will also not help you because this is the thing which is a mandatory uh, step let's start with the full process step by step process of windows 10 installation so now most of you have already head over to the uh, microsoft website to download windows 10 or if you have not and watching uh, this video without checking this site so even i was shocked to see that the windows or the microsoft has removed the windows 10 iso download link from here and this is the pc website do not worry i have a trick for this you will definitely get the windows 10 iso so here it is not available but the trick is that you have to visit this same website the link is in the description box below so you can click on that and open it using your android or even your ios uh, device specifically the uh, chrome app and then you will get the option to download the direct ISO file. Select the edition. It only has one edition and they have made the process simpler. So the, uh, the edition is the latest edition. So whenever you visit there, it will have the most up-to-date version in this edition only. Then after selecting the edition, you will have to confirm it. Then you will uh, be given an option to select the language, your preferred language for the windows select the same whichever you like and also confirm this once you have confirmed you will get the option of downloading the windows 10 iso file now do note that there are two versions 32 bit and 64 bit do check in the system properties but if you have a pc or laptop that was made or uh, that was manufactured after 2010 it will mostly have 64 bit only because 32 bit is very old now once you are done with installing the windows 10 iso head over to this website this is called rufus the link of this official tool is also in the description box below and download this tool this tool will help you uh, to create a usb bootable device which will help us in installing windows 10 so here is the download link i will recommend using the portable version because it can start uh, this is a standalone version it will not require you to install the complete software so download the latest version 
the latest version also has many features and uh, you will be happy to know that you can also download the windows files or windows 10 iso directly using this software so you also have an alternate method if you do not want to use your android device to download you can use this tool to download windows 10 directly into your pc once the rufus is downloaded run it you can skip this now this is the latest version of the rufus and this tool will be needed to download the windows 10 iso now you can also download the iso by clicking here okay so it will run a script okay so it, it does work without any usb device connected so this is the latest version and it gives you the option to download windows any windows version so click on download and select the version you want we want windows 10 for the tutorial so you will click here and continue let's see what happens so it has given the link of the latest build that is 22 h2 we also have the link of older versions but i do not recommend downloading using this links because we do not know from where does it download this so the most reliable and trusted method is the website one which i have told you just now so do follow and download using these same steps but if you want you can download it here as well but if if by any chance you are looking to download windows 11 if you change your mind and download windows 11 you can do that as well and there is a special feature for windows 11 also that you can skip the uh, you can remove the hardware locks like 4 gb ram requirement secure boot and tpm requirement as well let me select continue okay so it gives the addition also continue language english international okay continue let's see what happens if in just you down okay so i think it will give you the option to remove the uh, locks of windows 11 when you are flashing the iso to the device so currently we are not going for windows 11 so we do not have to worry about this we can click on back now you have to select your hardware device here and once you insert your USB pen drive, it should look like this screenshot. So device name could be different. You can ignore that. The boot, uh, the ISO name can be different as well. Windows, it would be Windows 10 2020 H2 English International instead of Windows 11. So just assume it's a Windows 10. Image option standard Windows installation. Partition scheme, select GPT most important. Target systems. It should be UEFI, uh, most recent PCs and newer PCs have UEFI and not CSM. So make sure it's UEFI. Volume label, you can ignore this. File system must be NTFS. Cluster size, uh, make sure it's default. Click uh, uh, The quick format should be on. Create extended, you can just skip this and click on start. The whole process will take mostly around uh, 10 to 20 minutes depending on your PC's specification and its uh, capabilities. Now, once this process is completed, you can close this software Rufus and then you will see uh, uh, once the process and USB, the flashing of the ISO to your USB device is completed, you will see the device here like this. So this is a Windows 10 USB bootable pen drive which I created a few months or weeks ago so this contains the uh, windows installation manager and setup which will install windows 10 to the pc all the process which I have shown you till now till this step you will have to do that in your friend's pc if you do not have a pc that is working with windows so once that's done the the process is completed of making the usb windows 10 device click on eject and when you get this message you can safely remove the device from your friend's pc or the pc you used to create windows 10
now the next step is to go to the bios of your pc in which you have to install windows 10 and to go into your bios you will have to look into the manual of your laptop or pc because everyone has a different key to get into bios or step if you do not have any windows installed your pc or laptop will directly go into the bios if you already have a windows 10 previous version installed you can click on the restart with the with holding the shift key and that will give you the option to go into your uefi firmware settings let me show you that as well right now so hold shift and click here on restart this will open up a few settings menu that is troubleshoot so we will have to click here advanced option uefi firmware settings so basically you will have to go into your bios to change some settings else your pc will not start or not get into windows 10 installation so here is the bios menu now do note it will be different for everyone for some gaming laptops it will be like uh, this which you see on the screen for some normal laptops it will be like a blue and white themed bios so everything will be different and will also vary from manufacturer to manufacturer basically what you or where you have to go is to your settings so if you have a normal hp or dell laptop the settings of security will be somewhere here where it is written bios 5 for me so here you will have or you would have the set security category if you have a normal laptop with which has a blue and white colored bios settings so what you have to do is to disable the secure boot feature so of course it will be different for everyone my could be in the advanced windows os yes secure boot is here so as i said and as you can see it can be different for everyone for some it can be normally in the uh, settings for some ca it can be uh, in the advanced for some it can be somewhere else so secure boot is the first thing which needs to be disabled and the next thing is the tpm if you see tpm do disable it that as well the next thing is the boot option so in the boot you have to uh, find the usb pen drive option and make sure it's enabled first in some bios you have specific written that usb a pen drive boot is allowed or not so if it's disabled make sure it's enabled now my system is a newer generation system so it will not have uh, the specific setting which i will be telling you right now so that setting is the legacy boot options for normal windows pc or all-in-one pcs or laptops the normal bios will contain a setting named as legacy boot so make sure that is enabled so you have to change three settings which are the secure boot secure boots needs to be disabled tpm if there is any specific setting for the tpm make sure it's disabled as well and the third setting which is the legacy boot options make sure le legacy boot is enabled which will allow usb bootable pen drives to boot and install the operating system which you want for us it's windows 10 right now so when once you have changed the settings you can uh, save and exit make sure you apply and actually save those settings and if you have a setting named as save changes and reboot you can click on that as well and shut down your pc afterwards make sure it save the changes and reboots into the bios if you do not have any windows 10 installed at the moment if the windows 10 or any other operating system is installed currently click on save changes and reboot and let it boot into the os and once that's done you can shut down the pc now depending upon conditions if you do not have any windows 10 installed or with a new hard drive take the usb pen drive which you made or in which you flash the windows 10 for me it's this pen drive in which i installed windows or flash windows 10 iso file before clicking on save changes and reboot you will have to insert this only if you have a empty laptop or pc which has no windows os or no os before clicking on save changes and reboot insert this to your laptop or pc now i have to click on save changes and reboot it will boot into the uh, windows 10 installation manager so let's see
okay so it did not because i already have windows installed but if you do not have the windows installed you will definitely boot directly into the installation manager but as i already have the windows installed i will have to manually set things uh, boot to the usb pen drive let me go again into my bios this will also help you to troubleshoot if you are unable to boot directly into the windows okay so this is the tpm setting security device support trusted computing make sure it's disabled so for me everything is disabled let's see why it is not getting into the installation category so this is the usb let's make it here so okay so now the first boot option is the u okay so okay so this is the usb key so in the boot option hash one i have selected the usb pen drive you will also see this name in your bios it does not matter which type of bios you have the older style or the newer one but you will see the name so if your pc is not directly booting into windows 10 installation manager you do not see the windows 10 setup directly and it is going directly into the windows 7 8 or 10 previous version whatever you have if it is not going you can manually select in the bios that you have to boot into this usb device so i have selected that and if you wish you can also disable this windows boot manager i can set this to disabled say we can do save and exit yes and now it will definitely boot into the installation manager as we have disabled the windows os boot and we have selected the USB pen drive. Okay, so it's here. Okay, it took a little while to get into this, but do not interrupt the process and here is the so it took nearly a minute or two so if your laptop or pc also behaves like this that's why i'm not skipping the previous part if your pc now that will also depend on specification if it's completely blank after doing the steps which i have shown do not touch it or shut it down or try to restart it let it be depending upon the your pc specification at least allow 10 minutes and let it be as it is do not touch it if it remains blank even after 10 15 minutes you can uh, restart it but see it did boot so it's completely working and you can be sure that it will work it took two minutes and here is the result in this step you will have to select of course i have downloaded us language edition here you will have to select the time and currency format you have to so that's your personal preference keyboard is also your personal preference so now you have to click on next and click on install now here uh, you have do not have to worry about this you can just ignore it and click on i do not have a product key right now because we can do this even after installing windows 10 now here is the options windows 10 home so everything comes in only one so they only have slightly different settings so we have to select uh, of course you can select anything you can also select pro but home is suitable for everything so selecting windows 10 home we click on next now also the delay could be because that usb my usb device is old it's of usb i think 2.0 and of course the speeds of usb is very slow these the usb's pen drive run at approx 2 megabytes per second speed so that's why it can take a little while to load the setup and that's why it was blank for a minute or two and i was just about to think that it's not working 
so anyways you have to accept the license and click on next upgrade or custom install install windows and keep file settings now you this is also your personal preference you can upgrade this now this option is only available when you have a supported version of windows already running on the computer which i do have i can click on the first one upgrade option if you have a blank drive or a new pc which comes without any operating system you have to go to the custom and this will be grayed out normally so going to the custom you have to select the partition if you have a newer pc you will have a newer drive with whole capacity available in the free space you can also format this cost formatting will delete the windows which i already have in my ssd and all the files games which i have so formatting means that everything or all the data in this partition or the drive will get deleted drive 0 means my which is my ssd drive 1 is my hard disk assuming that you have a new drive what you have to do is just click on next button now next will install windows but i do not have to do this because i already have it so when you click on next the windows installation will start and it's that simple but if you want to delete the data which you already have maybe because of corrupted windows you can click on format or even delay this step is just managing your hard drive and storage you can delete all the data which you have so you can format you can delete the entire partition and then create a new partition the new option will only be available when you have no defined partitions so this new option will only be available if you have deleted the complete partition then you have to create new one but as you can also format the partition in which you do not have to delete any of these one just select the drive in which you have to if you have multiple ssds or hard disk drives select the one in which you have to install the windows 10 and that's done i do not have to go any further as this will uh, install uh, a new windows and i do not want to risk any data right now but in future if i install a fresh windows i will definitely make a video again the majority or, or the 99 percent step is done clicking the next will install windows that's done and everything is done you can now install windows without any worry in case you want to see what happens when you click on cancel and exit like how i did let's see let me show you what will happen if it shows the bios logo i will see it will now again boot into the windows installation manager because i have disabled the windows boot option in the bios so i am not deleting this uh, scenes because it will help you to identify or understand how the process works or goes on because the same can happen with you and then you will understand why it has happened because we have disabled the boot option and that's why it is not directly booting into windows so if you want to exit the setup and you change your mind to upgrade windows 10 or install windows 10 you are happy with the previous version or any version which you are using you can exit the setup like this but then you will have to again enable the windows 10 boot device so the tutorial is finally completed you can now easily install windows 10 if you did not understand this video properly you can watch this again because there are many things which you have to keep in mind before installing windows 10 and you have to be prepared so if you are confused do watch this video again which will make you understand the thing much better and do like share and subscribe for more such interesting videos thanks for watching this one i will see you in the next one